guys. She on cage 352 here playing some Life is Strange. Uh, episode 5 is coming out very soon, so I have restarted the game since I got angry at it the last time <laughs> due to uh, certain endings. And um, so I'm starting over from the very beginning, and I have a whole new perspective on the game. So that's how we're going to be playing it this time. <clears throat> I have a whole bunch of theories, um, but I think I'll put that out on a different episode, just because, I mean, uh, I mean, I, it deserves, it, it's, it, there's so many theories that I have that it deserves What's its own little episode. Alright, Max, let's get to that lighthouse. It's funny, I've already kind of spoiled it for myself a little bit. I didn't see anything about part five, but I did spoil, like, the beginning. <clears throat> just because <clears throat> I was so tempted to find out more about it. But that's okay. It, it It's left me with whole new ideas on how to play this game and how this game really works and, and things like that. So it's okay. Spoiling, spoiling yourself with these games is okay as long as you take away something good from it. Whoa. That was so surreal film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's cool room. i am okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't and white? fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream Bueller? weird diane arbus there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? <laughs> I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to you. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what wonder what would have happened if she turned in her picture. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Mr. Jefferson Your gives me the creeps the now, now that I've for selfie expression. devised all these different Sorry, theories and I shit. Resist. The point remains <laughs> that the think portraiture he was cool. has always been a vital aspect of art <laughs> and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail and That's all right, Max. Making them extremely we'll get the answer. from the 1800s on. <laughs> By rewinding and taking Victoria's answer. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Go talk to Kate. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. If you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Starting in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. <clears throat> I heard from someone that Kate and Kate was his Mr. Jefferson's assistant for the day. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. But. Just thinking too much. Also talked that she kind of looks like Rachel. I think the um, I don't really think she looks like Rachel, to be honest. She's got um, nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get. I going. think. Yeah, me too. Um, Chloe looks more you. like Rachel. Sure. Without the blue hair. But that's just my opinion. And I already took most of these pictures. I'm just gonna take them anyway, just for the hell of it. Just because I probably should. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I yeah, just do I have to? It's that big a deal. <laughs> Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag. I don't want to be pedophiled by you, Mr. Jefferson. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You're just getting you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150. Also, now I'm going to be looking and listening to people now. I, I didn't really listen to them before, but... Now I'm actually going to be listening to what they say. It's funny because the things they say, like they haven't, they didn't really register for me when I first played, and then I'm now that I'm playing for like the third or fourth time, it's um, it's it's weird what you actually hear and what how it actually kind of makes sense with certain things. And, but yeah, that 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 should be in a different video because. There's just way too much. <laughs> it's ridiculous, the theories on this just game. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Alright, let's get the picture of the butterfly. And enter the douchebag. <laughs> it's cool, Nathan. <laughs> nah, I kind of feel bad for Nathan a little bit. Count to three. Just a little. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow I it up. Still wonder how nobody saw him come in here. Cause isn't it like so the girls' bathroom? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. 
I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble I for bet, this than I bet drugs. Nathan knows Nobody more about Chloe too, more than... Punk ass, would they? Get that gun away more than from me, you probably know. No! It's kind of odd too. Like I just kind of let it go without rewinding, Whoa. <coughs> and uh, what the fuck? <laughs> he got all scared when he be? shot. He was like, "Oh shit! Oh no!" And he ran away. He so shot that poor girl. Yeah. I so I kind of feel bad for him. I don't think he was actually and then trying to shoot her. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot who believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Mueller, can I actually reverse time? I did it. Can you give me I an actually did. Hmm. Well, it would be funny if this was like a whole entire loop and like in and, and part 5 is is coming back to the very beginning and making you do it all over but different. If he does again. I mean, I don't think it is, but I mean, I haven't seen anything about part 5, but that would that would just be a total mind fuck if that's what it was. It's like you can choose to do this differently. <laughs> It's real. Has been I can tell. That would just be weird. <laughs> Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice you know, Mr. Jefferson, you gotta go save somebody. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class, and I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Okay, rewinding. And give him the right answer. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Let's just take Victoria's answer there. The Daguerrean process made portraiture <laughs> hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yeah, I'm pretending not to see you because you're a freak. You are not dreaming. It's well, guys, that's hero. it for now. <clears throat> this is only the beginning of the crazy shit that's going to go down. And uh, I'm going to play it totally differently this time as I did before. So, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for episode 5 that's coming out soon. And I'll see you guys next time.